sizes. Hat sizes are something um, we don't really address that much, but um, it's a, an important subject. Um, first thing I think we should do is kind of uh, map out the basic sizes. You've got small, medium, large, extra, and double. Okay, the most common sizes are going to range in the medium to large range. Okay, so if you're a size large, like a seven and a quarter, seven three eighths, and you think that's big, you think you have a big head. It's not, it's right in the middle. There's two sizes above it, extra large and double, and there's two below it, medium and small. So large is dead center. It's kind of like the middle C on the piano. It's just like a very common size. Um, medium is also very common, but large is more common. Also safer going large. Like if you're a, uh, a stylist or a wardrobe person, you just don't know what people's sizes are. You just go with large because the most likely they're a medium or a large or maybe a small. But you know, if they're extra large, you probably know it. You know, if they're a big person or something. Large is the most popular size. I'm a large. I'm sure, a lot of you guys are. It's what they make samples out of when they make samples for hats. Sample size is seven and a quarter, which is the smallest part of large. So let's imagine it um, on a chart. Okay, I do this quite often. So we, we'll figure our smalls are right down here below. This is average. Okay, smalls are over here. Okay, medium is going to be this cream area. This white area will be large. Okay, this is extra large. This is double X. Okay, so. If you're seven and a quarter, you're in the large area, but you're at the bottom part of large. Seven and three eighths is really the main part of large. Seven and three eighths, otherwise known as 59 centimeters internationally, um, is very, very common. It's a common size. Um, it's my size. I buy bigger. I actually go up a size or two, but uh, technically that's my size, seven and three eighths. But I usually buy a uh, Seven and five eighths. I go up two sizes usually because I just like my hats oversized and I just don't like anything to ever be tight. Um, I like to tighten them up myself. That way, there's just no danger of anything. Plus, I, I like the oversized look. It's part of my thing. You know. So, um, small six and seven eighths. That's where most hats start at. Um, almost everybody's uh, six and seven eighths or above. There are people that are smaller than that, but it's uh, it's rare, you know. Um, six and three quarters is not a size you can usually get very easily. I'm going to say 99% of the hats out there start at six and seven eighths, otherwise known as small. Um, so we'll figure that's here, six and seven eighths, okay. Then medium. Medium is going to be seven to seven and one eighth, which is this area right over here. That is kind of average, but like a smallish average. Maybe a guy with uh, no hair or very short hair or kind of a skinnyish, you know, slender person or, you know, I don't know. It's hard to say. Some people are really, really tall and they have small heads. Other people have really big heads and they're, you know, maybe just big this way or a big forehead or a big one. You can't tell they're a small person. So it doesn't always correlate to person size, head size. Um, but seven to seven one eighth. Seven one eighth is like a cap, cap size medium. Like if you get a medium hat and a medium cap, it's a one eighth. If you get a large, just a plain size large, they say seven and a quarter to seven three eighths, but it's technically it's a three eighths. You know, um, it doesn't stretch. It's just they make it big enough to accommodate a three eighths. And if you're a quarter, you could just wear it. You know, it's just a little looser. Um, generally, when something's a little bit big, you know, you don't have too much complaints or problems when it's a little bit tight you just can't wear it at all you know a little bit big you can you know you can do things you can adjust it generally 
people don't even notice. Um, we get a lot of ladies who come in and try a double X off the ladies rack and say, I want this, and it's so big you could put your whole hand in there, but they love how cool it looks. It looks so oversized and it feels comfortable and stuff, but you got to tell them it's going to blow away. Um, people are usually okay with hats that are a little bit big um, until they're in a windy situation or something, and then they need to fix it. You know? But, um, yeah. I always say this, go big if you're in doubt. Always round to the highest number and stuff. So hat size, 7 to 7 one eighth, okay? Now, large is going to be 7 and a quarter to 7 and 3 eighths. That's your meat. We call it meat and potatoes um, sizes. Uh, you know, it's the hot sizes. That's the sizes that tend to go first. 7 and 3 eighths, 7 and a half, 7 and a one eighth, 7 and a quarter. All the stuff in that range, you know? Um, at like about eye level, you can see it. seven and a half might be around here, okay. three eighths, quarter, all this area. It's um, very common hat sizes. So the tricky thing is now some brands will um, translate European sizes differently. Now the European sizes are centimeters, and that's the sort of the gold standard for worldwide uh, hat sizing. Size 55 is small, 57 is a medium, 59 is a large, 7 3 eighths, uh, 61 is an XL, 7 and a half, uh, excuse me, um, 61 is a 7 and a 5 eighths, uh, XL, and then you know, so on and so on. They use the centimeters, that's their number one kind of, uh, you know, litmus or your uh, universal sizing uh, chart. The American sizing thing is just for us. We use it um, and nobody else does. So sometimes when they're translating European sizes to small, to medium, to six and seven eighths, to seven, to American number sizes, it can be kind of things are on the line and they don't know where to put it. So sometimes you might go, let me get to the point here. point is you might find a cap size medium and the cap medium will be 58 um, where I just told you a 57 is a medium so sometimes European caps um, they're going to call it a 58 because sometimes those those uh, numbers don't exactly correlate to this size or that size and they do a little bit of rounding so you're going to see some mediums that are marked 57 some mediums that are marked 58 you could, uh, it's the same thing with size large. Generally, I was taught that seven and a quarter to seven three eighths is a large, but um, you know, there's all sorts of different larges out there. There's sixties larges. Uh, a size sixty might be like an Irish cap large, which is like a big large. So it, it's not every size scale doesn't always equal to the next one perfectly. So you're going to see some contradictions. Now let's talk about those European sizes again. If you are a, a middle C guy, uh, a size large, seven and three eighths, you are a size 59. Okay. Again, that's your middle C, 59 centimeters. Below that will be a 58 centimeters, seven and a quarter. That's your large, 58 to 59. So let's think like European now. If you're doing mediums, mediums will be seven to seven one eighth. We we're talking about American sizes. That's going to be 56 to 57. Let's figure a medium typically is a 57. Okay, so let's look at the universal sizes here. Small is 55. Medium, 57. Large, 59. Extra large is 61. Okay, then you're going to get a little weird. Double X could be like a 62 to a 63. Then I'm going to say triple X will be an 8. So it gets a little bit odd up on the, on the top and stuff, but sizes also start tapering off a little bit. You're going to see once you get to 7, 5, 8, 7, 3 quarters, they sort of stop getting big, most companies. They don't go any bigger than 3 quarters, where they use their regular hats and stretch it or something. But very few size 8s and 7, 7, 8s are a true, true double or triple X like that. They're just not. They tend to be too small on most uh, people who wear them, with the exception of some light felt hats. Uh, the blues, the blues in double X, in black, gray, brown. Black, 
gray and brown, I think, maybe navy, are very big. Those are triple X's and a double X. Uh, a double X is a size 8, in other words. So they run big. Everything in a blues runs big. If you buy a medium in a blues, it's a 7 and a quarter, like a large. Um, so you have to compensate. Um, a size small in a blues, it runs so big, it's more like a 7, and so on and so forth. So, different hats run differently. Uh, sometimes it's not a matter of when you're going for big, big sizes like eight, it's not a matter of trying to find the highest number. It's trying to find the hat that just runs the biggest. You might have three or four hats that are marked eight, which are technically a triple X, but none of them fit. They're all really small, and they're like seven and three quarters, or maybe even smaller. They're just not big at all. But then you'll go to something marked double X, which is technically like what a seven and three quarters or something and that might be bigger than everything that might be like a true triple x or an eight or even an eight and one eighth so sometimes uh, it depends on the flexibility of the hat like light felt hats are flexible they just uh they bend without things like that happening uh, and also they uh they're flexible they're truly flexible also they um don't have leather sweatpants. Leather sweatpants kind of cinch, they pull the hat, the inside part of the crown, the head chamber here. When you put a leather sweatband in, it's like you're sewing it in, you're cinching it, and also the thickness of the leather itself reduces your hat by like a whole size. So generally, if you have a ribbon sweatband or even a thin cloth sweatband um, in a light felt hat, you're going to get a nice big fit. Um, we're talking real light felt from American ones, not like knockoffs and stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll have the light felt logo inside the crown, you know, like right here. L-I-T-E felt. Um, there's a lot of knockoffs of those. So if you're looking for a hat that's super big and nothing fits you, you've tried a size 8 in a Stetson Temple and it's not even close to your size, get the blues. The blues fedora, it's a hat that looks just like this. It's a, two-inch brim fedora, a little bit smaller than this in the brim, but not much. Um, get the black, the gray, the blue, or the brown. Definitely the black, the gray, and the brown. The blue, I think, are really big, too. The other colors, the green and the camel, don't get them. They're not as big. The biggest hats we sell are those double X blues in the colors I mentioned, black, blue, gray, and brown. Um, and people who can't buy hats for anything, they just can't even get near a hat, can fit that hat. Once, one reason, of course, they stretch and the, the sweatband. Um, another hat that fits really big is our Outback hat, which is also made of uh, light felt, but it doesn't fit as big as the blues fedoras so, in those colors. So, now going to small, if you're an extra, extra, extra small kind of person, generally you could just buy a small, pad it down. So it's not a big problem. You buy sweatbands, you know, you stack them on top of each other, you put them under the band, over the band. It's easy. But there are hats that run tight too. It's good for you to, you know, ask us at JJ's which particular hats run a little bit tighter because, you know, uh, I'm uh, a very small size. The European stuff run tight. Um, the stuff from Spain and Italy generally are cut a little bit smaller. Um, Celentino from the Czech Republic, no, they're cut big. But uh, it's usually not an issue because you just size down a small and you'll be fine for most people. Um, what else about size? Um, you're going to see a lot of sizes written inside your hat. So sometimes you're going to see three or four different sizes. European is going to look like 55 or 57 or 59 or 61 like that. American sizes are going to look like 7 and 1 8 seven and three eighths, something like that. Six and seven eighths, seven and a quarter, okay? Um, you've also got these UK sizes, which are like, you see them on sneaker boxes too, like uh, Nikes and Adidas. There's American sizes, there's centimeters, and then there's UK sizes. Well, even the people in the UK don't use UK sizes, I don't think. It's just like, nobody uses that, so. Ignore that one. Uh, you'll see those in certain hats. The hats that have the gold stickers inside that show the uh, the size. And this one doesn't have. Let me see if I can find you another one. The gold sticker in it. Yeah, they all fall off. So, yeah. 
all my size stickers sweated out. Oh well, I don't have any to show you. But um, yeah, ignore the UK size, that's pretty much useless. And um, that's about it. I don't know if there's much more to say about size except um, my usual go big. Always go big if you're in doubt. Um, you don't have to tack an entire size on, but if you're between and you're not sure which one, just go to the bigger one. Never wind up with a hat that's too small on you. Um, if you have it now, you know what I'm saying, you're nodding your head, you're like, yeah, he's right. You, know, you get this red line here, and it hurts. It's like this, I can feel the feeling now, I'm just imagining it. It's like this headache feeling, squeezing, you know. Um, there are ways to, you know, you could clip the reed and stuff inside. I could show you what that is. Um, the reed can be clipped. There's a, there's a little wire inside here. It's more like a nylon fishing line. So if you clip it, the tension on that ring of wire is alleviated. Just imagine a ring of piano wire over the top of your head that's too small. You're a six, uh, you're a seven and a quarter, but the, uh, the ring of piano wire inside here is a size seven, two sizes too small, and you're trying to pull that hat on. So that circle, that tension, is what's giving you that, that divot, the reed itself. So what you do is you take the hat, you look in the back, right where your seam is, your back seam, okay? Right over here, you're gonna make a little tiny cut, just you know, with an X-Acto, with a blade, whatever, some kind of uh, razor blade box cutter. And then you're gonna see inside there the little piece of fishing line. Okay, once you see the line, clip it. Clip it with a, a wire cutter, um, good scissors or something like that. Whatever you got, uh, even a nail, nail clipper will do it. Um, just clip that wire. If you want to go crazy and really make the hat soft, pull the whole reed out. Just get it out. Um, I've done that many times. The hat stays oval. See how it's always coming back to a circle in the shape? Because of the reed. Okay, so when you get rid of that, the hat does get more floppy. So if you want to make your hat look like an old bum's hat and all floppy and stuff, take the reed out. If you don't want that, leave the reed in and just clip it. That'll alleviate the tension, but you'll still have that wire in there. Um, that's what I recommend doing if your hat is too tight. And then just stretch it over your knees, stretch it in like this. Just stretch it, you know, every day. Stretch it a little more, stretch it. Pull it over your knee. Okay, lengthwise, just stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. That's enough. Uh, if you do that a little bit, you know, a few times every day, think of it as arm exercise. Don't pull the, part, the hat apart, you know, don't destroy it, but just increase pressure, you know, just kind of like. Think of it as an exercise, you know? Turn it around. That is how you stretch a hat. Okay, doing it over your knee. Okay, do not bang that neck, Kevin. You do it too. Over the knee works. But unless you take the reed out, it's not going to do much. My hat's big now, so <laughs> shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.